Oh yes, it's actually Latif Raji who joins us next. He's the Director of Planning and Mobilization and Body Campaign Organization. Thank you for coming on today. It's my pleasure, Chamber. You know, well, uh, how is the preparation going on for you? Let's start from there. Uh, we're doing our best. Um, at this level, we've done a lot of uh, our rallies. We've had rallies all across the state. Uh, we have also mobilized our members to start going from you know, house to house selling our candidates, the governor, deputy governor, and members of the House of Assembly. So our people have been very, very active on the field. We've been telling the people we, we are riding on our past records, and we are showing the people that we can do better. What about uh, the directive given by the commission, that's INEC, about the card readers? How did your party receive that? Yeah. We, are, we have always been very, very, we have always been for the card reader. Because to us, we believe the card readers eliminate a lot of uh, irregularities you know, associated with uh, the electoral process. We are for the card readers and uh, we are ready. Except that again, we must also not close our eyes to some fact that there were some you know, glitches, you know, pockets of glitches across the place, <coughs> nothing so much pronounced but also enough to be attended to, enough to be looked into. What kind of glitches were um, in the state? In some places, uh, let's, you know, we have to look at uh, the entire electoral process in the past, uh, this past election, that uh, there were late arrival of materials in, in some polling units, in some local governments, in some areas. The uh, polling materials arrived very late. Again, there was also uh, the, the inability of some uh, voters to get their fingerprints on the, on the card reader. Something I next told us now had to do with their, you know, not removing the film on the lens uh, or on the sensor of those uh, card reader. Now that was what caused it. And in some instances, we just find out that uh, even when so the, the officials, the INEC officials, record names of some uh, voters that they couldn't read their, their, their fingerprints, they did not allow them to vote. So some of those type of things, in some places, some were reasonable enough to say, okay, we've taken, we've put down your name in an incident form, mm -hmm. you can vote. In some, in places, some other places, they didn't even give them places, incident forms? It did not happen that way. So I think one of those things is that I think we have to probably recruit some of these staff to make sure that, look, we all saw it, national television, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we couldn't accredit, you know, the card reader could not read his uh, voter's card. He invariably ended up voting. That's a cue that a lot of us, but I can also accept that. Okay, why, why that was happening, a lot of these adult staff were on the field already. So they probably did not see that, but I need me to, you know, need to be able to point out. And I'm also sure that, um, with uh, the previous, uh, uh, the last election, INEC will be coming better prepared. Yeah, I that, that last one was on personal recognition of how he was eventually allowed to be incidented. But INEC has said this time, with that release that was done yesterday, that if your elections are not concluded the same day, you come back the next day. But everybody must use the card readers. Yeah, if INEC insists that, uh, if INEC is saying we have to vote, you know, for two days, INEC must also get ready to, to, to explain to Nigerians when are you going to vote the following day. The process is, will be such that when I get accredited and I'm on the queue and I've voted, I won't guarantee do we have that if I voted yesterday and I come back to that one to vote again, INEC will be able to tell me you voted yesterday. We need to look at all stuff like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong in saying. What about the ink? The, twice. The, the ink is uh, supposed to be indelible. Hmm? The ink on the finger. It's indelible, you say. Uh, beg your pardon. It, you, you shouldn't be able to take it off almost immediately. Well, you, you, you never can tell. For me, I know I kept mine for that two days. Yes. But again, in a situation where somebody decides to wash it off, what do you do? 
So for me, I think what I need needs to do is to ensure that personnel and materials are deployed early enough to commence this exercise. We've had elections before. Yeah, I want to believe that the introduction of the card reader, you know, mm, you know, being a new a new thing in our electoral process has its own consuming time. There were anticipation on the part of the people that, oh, uh, we are going to use a machine today. That one had its own everything. And don't also forget that it ruined the most part of Lagos that day. Things like this were, were things that actually eat into the time for the election. But again, there yeah, is to be on the safer side. If we get accredited to the, if materials did not, we could say if materials did not get to your polling unit by 12 o'clock, we are putting off that election until the following day. Okay, so both parties seem to agree. Exactly. Yeah, the entire process to the following. That would be better. I know if you not just clamp, you know, put a blanket on everybody that um, you started. We must have uh, 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 timelines. Timeline on when to do things. If it is not working out at this particular time, then we know that the election will be postponed till the following day. So those are just the things I need to see. The card reader, yes, my party is for the card reader, and we are ready for it. Were you also uneasy at the fact that we had a uh, we, we had uh, the DG of the uh, of Agbaje's uh, campaign organization here just before you came in, and uh, he was talking about how uh, agents were supposed to also uh, double check the accreditation of registered voters to ensure that they are truly who they say they are, especially during the uh, manual accreditation. If that happens, so even when they're using the card reader. Uh, did you notice that that happened, or did it not happen at the polling well, units? I saw, you know, some, you know, some, I agree, some things, you know, such things happened. But unlike him, they were not as large scale, like he put it. I agree, I, I have a first-hand witness of where our agent was saying, how many people have we accredited? Now, the official, the INEC official, the, 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 the presiding officer took offense. And the security agent that is there, that was there then, also took offense. And they took him on. And that's, this should not be so. The agent has a purpose to be there, to ensure for his own party that everybody that is accredited probably come back to a line to vote, and they are allowed to vote. It is his job to know why, uh, how many people are accredited. Um, he needs to do his own recording. In many of the political parties, our agents have forms that it's almost the same thing with uh, the INEC form. How many people came in at what particular time? How many, you know, invariably voted? Which party got what? They have form of their own. So, the, the, like I said, the, 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 the INEC ad hoc staff or personnel should still be made to understand that this agent, they have a purpose for being there and be accommodated within the... INEC as a body has accommodated them. But then, these uh, electoral officers that we have on ground should also get ready to accommodate them and let them do what they are supposed to do. Well, as they do go about their jobs uh, for uh, Mr. Uh, um, Wokonira, he said something they observed. There were no sheets sometimes for them to put some of these names on to the extent that uh, they had to write them on a different paper not provided by INEC. Did your party agents, uh, anyone in Lagos also encountered uh, such an uh, incident? No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see any. I didn't, I didn't get such reports. I, I only heard about that of River State where they did not take any, and I think that was a large statement. I didn't see any of such things. Where I, and I knew it was mentioned in Oshodi. I'm from Oshodi. And I knew we had election results. They were recorded. And not on um, plain sheets? Yeah, no, well, the only time plain sheets were used was to incident um, voters who were accredited properly, but when they came to do the fingerprint, could not their fingerprints were not captured. Were they supposed to use plain sheets at any time? Well, I, I don't know. The INEC did not tell us. They only mentioned that they were supposed to have incident form. The, some plain of sheets. them did not have the incident form. So they wrote, again, and I tell people this, I make is an institution, Nigeria, 
is created are not expecting such perfection if they did not come with the incident for and we agree this is our polling unit this is our community write out we know all these people that are here write out these things on your on a sheet of paper stamp it if you have to what are you doing to avert that because it's, it's, not, well, it's not enough to avert it this no, is for high net no, 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 that no, that, that's, that's what i'm saying because uh, you're 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 a partaker of this particular process